Namaste ji, namaste. Welcome to Courtroom. My name is Sahaj. If you're preparing for the CLAT UG2024 that is set to take place on the 3rd of December, that is very, very soon in about a month's time, this lecture will prove immensely beneficial for you. Please do take notes. I'll be covering out the topic of Chandrayaan 3 and all the associated ancillary questions that the examiner can ask. Now, this lecture is going to be in English. So I'm going to be using a bit of Hindi, a bit of English, a mix of both you will need to take notes and we will try to anticipate as to what the examiner can ask because if they have not i haven't analyzed this year's sample papers as of yet if they have not asked about chandrayaan 3 in the sample papers there is an insanely high probability that this topic is going to be showing up in clat ug i will also at the end of the lecture give you or rather tell you about a way in which you can download this pdf if you so wish to however that will be done from our website all right so if chandrayaan 3 hopefully this topic shows up in your current affairs section and i'm hoping that it would now chandrayaan 3 was launched using the launch vehicle mark 3 rocket lvm 3 rocket so they can give a paragraph and of course we will say information we're going to remove um, one number us pe likh denge and then they will ask you which information has been retracted from the paragraph so they can give you or other ask you all of these one-liner mcqs and these are the highest probability ones so that this topic is covered uh, from your end lvm3 all right then this was launched the rocket was launched from the satish dhawan space center which is located at sri harikota in the state of andhra pradesh and the launch date was 14th of July at 2.35 p.m. I don't expect them to ask the time. However, we'll still make a note because this time was reported again and again and again in both the Hindu and the Indian Express, two most popular sources for local current affairs, especially in CLAT UG. It landed on the 23rd of August 2023. Both of these dates are important. ISRO chairman, the present ISRO chairman is S. Somnath. Hopefully you are pausing and taking notes because without then, well, you won't be able to recall things. And the first ISRO chairman, so CLAT usually does what it what it does is that they'll give you a passage jo aaj kal ka topic chal raha, uske koi bhi newspaper mein se information. They will just extract out. And then they will give you that information and ask ancillary static GK questions or related static GK questions from that topic as well. That is their recipe. For asking questions so we are also working on the same lines all right so the first isro chairman also you need to know that is dr vikram sarabhai now this is related static gk to the topic if we are talking about chandrayaan 3 we might as well cover a bit of chandrayaan 2 and chandrayaan 1 as well and overall moon pe sabse pehle kon pohncha tha? because this is where the examiner really opens up the topic. All right, so Chandrayaan 2 landed on the 22nd of July 2019, as in it didn't land, sorry. It was launched on the 22nd July 2019. It had a Vikram lander and Pragyan rover, and eventually we crash landed on the moon. It was, an, uh, it was basically an unsuccessful landing. Chandrayaan 1 was launched on the 22nd October 2008. All right, so launch dates of Chandrayaan 1 are 22nd October, Chandrayaan 2 is 22nd July, 22nd, 22nd, yaad karne ka tarika, matlab yaad karne ke liye asaan hai, and hamara jo Chandrayaan 3, jo land ho raha hai, it is on the 23rd of August, 22, 22, and then 23, but 23 it is landing, and then ye dono launch yahan pe huye the, and it, well, launched on, Chandrayaan 3 launched on the 14th of July, so it was a 40 day journey, all right. So usually I don't anticipate that they will ask you the launch dates. However, they will ask you or they may ask you is the years. Chandrayaan 2 also had a Vikram lander and Pragyan rover. And if, if memory serves me right, Chandrayaan 3 also had the same combination because, well, we couldn't complete Chandrayaan 2's mission. All right. Now Sri Harikota became operational on the 9th of October 1971. Just write this down. Again, low probability. However, if they ever randomly asks at least you must have you would have heard about it because in KBC if you can see this is a good thing or a good thing or a good thing or a good thing or a good thing so this is the thing if you have listened to it that is Khan has already been listened to it you will tend to recall it there alright it, it became operational with the launch of Rohini 125 so which was the first rocket to have launched from Sri Harikota that's Rohini 125 and who was the chairman at the time of uh, Chandrayaan 2's launch, that was K Shivan. Okay. Now, this is extremely important. 
if any paragraph from space shows up all right now roini 125 was not uh, not a satellite it was a sounding rocket as in a rocket sent above for research purposes then in the same month when it was uh, i think launched or in august any which way that uh, basically that doesn't really matter pslv c56 was also launched which was carrying singapore's ds sar satellite plus six other satellites so in total it was carrying seven satellites so this is a separate rocket and then we also launched aditya l1 aditya l1 me l ka full form is lag range point now sometimes it's pronounced as lagrange because some people say that well the, the name is french so therefore the pronunciation will be that i am really unsure about the pronunciation because i've i looked it up on the internet and there were conflicting viewpoints on this lag range or lagrange whatever so aditya l1 the l stands for this term and and well this is the point in which the gravity of two like for example the earth and sun they will cancel out pretty much each other and yaha pe the satellite will then basically get stuck at that point because it is right at that point in which two forces will cancel out each other and then keep on roaming around on a if we if we see from the earth's viewpoint it will be stationary care any which way the science i don't anticipate them asking however you need to understand that what exactly l stands for now ऑस्ट्रेलिया में अनदर एंसलरी एम सी क्यू लो प्रॉबिलिटी अगेन बट ऑस्ट्रेलिया में इसरो डेब्रीज वर बेसिकली वन ऑफ द रॉकेट्स की डेब्रीज वर फाउंड एट द कोस्ट ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड दे क्रिएटेड एन इश्यू आउट ऑफ दिस सो दिस 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 इज एन ऑन गोइंग इंटरनेशनल इशू एज वेल दैट वेल वॉट डू वी डू बाउट दी स्पेस डेब्रीज और राइट नाउ दिस इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट रशिया क्रैश्ड Luna 25 basically they it ended up in a failure Luna 25 was their mission that was just about to i think land a day before us however it was unsuccessful so luna series pe abhi hum aate hain because it is related well luna lunar lunatic right all related to moon is pe abhi hum aate hain kyunki iske bare mein humne thoda sa abhi kaam karna hai because it relates to static gq right aditya l1 we have covered and russia ki jo space agency it is called as roscosmos all right r o s c o s m o s MOS and then a uh, cosmonaut the russia's version of astronaut is called as cosmonaut all right now one popular instrument that was quoted in the newspapers again and again instrument that is on chandrayaan 3 that's chandra's surface th th surface thermophysical experiment that is chast c h a s t e so they can ask you the full form and ye guaranteed if this passage shows up you will find a question on this this is shiv shakti point Chandrayaan 3's landing point is known as Shiv Shakti point. Chandrayaan 2's landing point has been renamed as, or rather, now has been officially given a name that is called as Tiranga. So Tiranga and Shiv Shakti are expected to show up. Then on the 23rd of August, that is the day on which Chandrayaan 3 landed, has now been uh, labeled as National Space Day. So add it to your important days while you list. It will really, really help you out. India became the first country to land on the lunar south pole and it was a 40 day journey we landed on the 23rd of august at 604 pm india became the fourth country to land on the moon after russia us china which of the following countries have not landed on the moon india has become the dashed country on the moon india has become the country which all other countries have already landed on the moon a option a b c and then d all of the above that is how questions are framed for an exam all right then another news i think that uh, happened in september was moxi m o x i e that is mars oxygen in situ resource utilization experiment well nasa was successful in in generating oxygen using this instrument on the perseverance mars rover so this is mars related news ab chandra ke itni bari kaam kar le to mangal ka bhi thoda bahut kaam kar lete hain hopefully rahu ketu to hamare kharab hi rehte hain nahi acha isro falls under the department of space which is headed by pm so department of space is headed by who which is headed by or which minister that is pm himself isro was now now we go to static gk it was formerly known as in cospar i n c o s p a r that is indian national committee for space research and this was uh, made up or this was uh, this got its birth in 1962 then in ka naam badal ke then it eventually grew into grew into isro that is 1969 all right both of these years are significantly important india's first satellite was aryabhat kyunki paragraph aayega space pe ya chandrayaan 3 pe 
all of these questions can be asked to so have covered the length and breadth of this topic for you. India's own GPS is known as NAV IC, that is navigation with Indian constellation. Now we go back in history. The first uh, Chandrayaan three, we have never done. First land on on uh, on the South Pole. However, who was the first first one to land overall? So that is Luna two. Luna two landed on the 13th of September 1959. If memory serves me right, it was a hard landing, as in they crash landed. However, this was the first object to ever interact with the moon physically. Luna two. The first crewed mission on the moon was Apollo 11. Just now, Apollo Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, yeah, Buzz Aldrin, Aldrin. Uh, landed on the moon. This was on the 20th of July 1969. So if you see a July August time frame me sare ke sare must be the moon must be in the in the correct position or the most favorable position I believe to to launch missions. Then Artemis Accords India signed. So this is June ka current affair quite an important one. India became the 27th signatory to the Artemis Accords that is being headed by NASA. The Artemis Accords are all about um, all about a peaceful exploration of space and as usual USA wants to lead on that front because now the world will go into the direction of all the world. So as human beings, we, we all are. We all are just want to consume as much possible and, and even from countries we want to consume as much as possible. Then there will be a fight that this resource is mine, this place is mine. Right? Like you were fighting in school, that this table is mine. So like this is the only way of human beings that this is mine. So this is the only way of human beings that तो उसको प्रिवेंट करने के लिए फ्यूचर कॉन्फ्लिक्ट्स को आर्टिमस अकॉर्ड्स बनाए गए हैं बाय यूएसए एंड यूएसए क्योंकि यूएसए खुद बना लेता है ये सब पहले से एंड देन दे दे गेट अप इनटू दे एंड अप इन अ फेवरेबल एडवांटेज बिकॉज़ एट द एंड ऑफ द डे इवेंचुअली इट्स इट इज अ व्हाइट मैनस वर्ल्ड एंड अस बुरा आदमीस व्हेनेवर वी अचीव समथिंग इन द वर्ल्ड दैट इज व्हाई इट बिकम्स ऑफ वेल सिग्निफिकेंट इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज़ बट थैंक गॉड दैट नाउ इट इज चेंज्ड नाउ थिंग्स हैव चेंज्ड India became the 27th signatory and Taranjit Singh Sindhu is the present US ambassador who signed it on, on our behalf and Artemis Accords are based in or based on the Outer Space Treaty 1967. Alright. So, if there are two questions out there, However, these are the highest probability ones. If a paragraph or a news report shows up on Chandrayaan 3 and any which way there is no way that you take the CLAT this year without covering the topic of Chandrayaan 3. Uh, before the CLAT takes place I will be uploading some lectures on our website and some on YouTube and uh, we will devise a way for you to, to see them and then we move on forward with a full-fledged course for next year's CLAT. Any which way. Alright, wishing you folks all the very best. I think what I'll do is I'll embed this lecture on our website. I'll, I'll attach this PDF as well. If you just want to download it, take a print or just keep it as a, as a digital record. Apne paas, apne end pe. You can do so. If you have made your notes in this lecture, se, great. Because you put in the effort, you will end up recalling most if not all of these details. But then most works right to get a seat. All right. Wishing you all the very best. Do check the links in the description. I'll, I'll put out the link as to how to download this PDF, etc. But it will be on our website, so you'll have to create an account on our website. I wish you all the very best. Do take very good care of yourself. I sincerely hope that you get a seat in your desired NLU, I would say. All right, wishing you all the best. Take care. Bye.